All right, hello. Uh, my name's Tony. Uh, my main YouTube channel is Secondhand Daisy. Uh, this channel, Scummy Resellers, is a channel I share, and uh, friends of mine post on it too. Uh, I'm battling the wind today a little bit, so I'm going to try and be as uh, quick as possible while I do this. Um, $100 spent on everything that you see here, and if you'd like to see in more detail, I'm going to go through everything. Go to Secondhand Daisy, but I'm also doing previews and live hunting. Uh, and just going around and talking to people, uh, that will be in the videos uh, that come after this, all pieced together uh, in one. Um, what did I get today? Well, one of the things I like to do, I, I told you, I already told you I spent $100. One of the things I like to do on this channel is I like to brag a little. I like to boast. And what I like to do is I like to uh, do a Lord of the Rings kind of thing, where they have one ring that rules them all. And what I like to do is called the Lord of the Things, where I have one thing that will pay for them all. And um, the thing is, did I do it or didn't I do it? Well, um, today... I'm going to keep you in suspense for a couple seconds longer. Um, $100 what I spent now. Do you think anything over here, this bird, is worth $100? I'm going to say no. This this rare and delicious bottle of Kahlua worth $100? No. That mouse book? No. This uh, Sabatier knife? I don't think so. I don't know about that. No. 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 Eh, I don't really know. Eh, what's this? Okay. This is fetish jewelry. It's Native American. This is more contemporary QVC stuff. Uh, I still think it's worth over $100. I personally believe we can get about 100 at the very, very least 100 to $150 for that. So I did it. Yay for me. Jazz hand. Can't do both hands or else I dropped the camera or it would look like an earthquake. Um, anyway, you like watching people go to different places and look at stuff? and buy stuff and then not buy stuff or, or just walk around and check prices hang out for after this plus we talk a little bit about what we got but if you want to see me go through in a little bit more greater detail everything i got today go to secondhand daisy anyway uh catch me tomorrow i will be at uh uh blah blah blah, blah carney you know and i'll be there with aj aj went to the middle lands today anyway i'm out of here bye all right it's saturday uh marie and i are going shopping uh we decided not to shop hard uh, today and not like we're, we're not even well, bothering we're, we're not even bothering with the metal ants no because it's just to look at the wind is like pulling up the like fake grass on the ground it's yeah like, no the it it's bad. cold it's actually like in uh right now it's in the 30s believe it or not and no matter what with, the weather is the metal lands if it's hot it's 10 degrees hotter if it's cold it's 10 degrees colder well, well the wind and there's nothing there to block the wind yeah they got like you uh know, I, Gale force it's, winds are saying like swampling. near 40 mile per hour winds. And, and it's been known to have little twisters Yeah. that just take somebody's table up into the sky. No, I, I talk, it's actually, what time is it? It's like 9.30 it's or 9.30. Now. Yeah, I talked to AJ and he only, he didn't, he said that he didn't really find anything, but he did get lucky and find one good thing. But the only reason he found it was because somebody called him over. Uh, because what happened was... And they got screwed by another dealer. Yeah, I wasn't going to really say that. But uh, another... No, you don't one see rival. One of the regular buyers that uh, AJ buys off of, right? I'm sorry. One of the regular buyers that buys from this guy, right? Uh, lied to him about the value of something. So the guy didn't like it. So now AJ is going to be buying off of Please. this guy the guy called him over and which is good for him but that's the best thing aj got and the thing is the 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 unit that he got may have water damage so it might not even hopefully let's just hope that it works for aj and he's going to do it right and he made a good connection but yeah that's it otherwise he says uh he's not finding anything he's like looking he was when i called him he says oh, i'm looking at hats you know so i, I just i'm impressed that they even have hats out and they're not blown <laughs> away they're probably in a bucket <laughs> just like on the table just blowing smacking people in the head you know it'd be cool if the wind uh, blew a hat picked it up and it landed on somebody's head that would be like uh, film that oh come on but that would be on YouTube that would be like whoa that's you know gonna, that'd be viral video but that would, would be cool it would flick off somebody's head but it wouldn't land no like say the wind blew and the blue of the hat, and it just went up and landed on a guy's head. There's no way. <laughs> Any, how could you say there's no way? Anything's possible. It would have to blow towards him, above him, and then the wind would have to give away and it would have to fall down. Or if he looked at his phone. You know guys look at their phone like this all the time, so their heads are tilted. So it could just blow and land right on the head. No, it would like hit him in the side <laughs> of the head and fall down. Well, that's what would most likely happen. But I'm saying the one in a million 
or maybe being you know, uh, thing where the odds are, or one in the train. Yeah, I'm sure a, a train hats have been blown around all through the history of time. But anyway, so um, we're going to the bank. We're we're putting money in the bank, but it's not our money. <laughs> We've been taking money out of our bank. That's one of the reasons we're like, uh, I don't even want to go to the Meadowlands because if we go to the Meadowlands, we, we spend too much like, for nothing special. That? Yeah, it's like, it, it's just like, oh, I but feel I like must desperate. buy something. You're desperate to buy something. Yeah. It, no, you just feel like, uh, I'm here. If I don't buy anything, it's like I wasted my time. You know, I have to walk out of here with something to make it worthwhile to pay for, for the lunch I'm going to eat and the gas I want to spend. Uh, I don't know. We're, so what we decided is like, eh, to the Meadowlands, right? And uh, we'll just, there's a few house sales uh, and like estate and non-estate sales today. So uh, the thing is, is like if I go to the Meadowlands to shop, odds are I'll be buying stuff for eBay and I'll be spending more than I want to for it. But the other thing is that um, I don't need stuff for eBay. I got so much stuff for eBay. It's insane. Like this week. We've already spent, I don't know, maybe almost $500 on just stuff we're going to put on eBay, you know? Like yeah, since it's last week. Like to flip the flea nothing, nothing. I'm know? not finding 50 cent dollars. Nah, that's anymore. what you need yard sales like, and whatever for, you know? You know, I'm paying five, ten bucks for necklaces. And yeah. They're not going to. No, they just don't, you they're know? They're not going to give me money. Well, we went to the, the sale we went to yesterday. There was a lady who sells in Manhattan, and she was paying up for stuff. But she's got like but she sells in Manhattan, and if she's a and lady that and not from Manhattan, that, everybody pays that, a billion no, bucks no, no, for everything. But, but if she's a lady that somebody else told me about, yeah, she jacks her prices there. Yeah, she will, and she gets it because this person used to get upset that she would be able to sell jewelry, and he wasn't. Yeah, and she, and he was asking half of what she was asking. Yeah. Well, she but, probably has built-in clients and whatever, you know. Well, I think the the problem with guys and jewelry is guys just buy jewelry. Guys like silver and well, gold. No, guys just buy jewelry. This guy doesn't. Yeah. Guys just buy jewelry to buy it. Mm. I think women buy it. Look at this. They didn't even look. They didn't even look. They just pulled out in front and didn't even look. So they could right pull Right on red. Yeah. Right on red. Except when a car's coming, you know. It's like it doesn't mean always right on red, and they even have signs up a lot of times, you know. But whatever. Um, yeah. So anyway, we decided that to maximize our money because we spent so much this week, and we haven't sold that much, you know. And the, our only chance to make money is tomorrow, uh, and that's a crapshoot because I don't have a lot of fresh stock. I mean, we're hoping that people will be excited tomorrow and go to Carney and and. Uh, oh, I still have to put that on. Yeah, but you got all night to do. Um, but they'll be excited to go to Carney because it'll be like a one of the nicest days well, we were also, having this year also so far. Carney's one of those flea markets where there's stuff around it that yeah. even if people didn't know there was a flea market there. Yeah. When they go to the Applebee's, Applebee's after church, Burger King, or the Burger King, um, or whatever, they'll say, "Oh, what's going on?" The people the that come to shoot yeah. the arrows, the archery, that complain. No, they get <laughs> They're like, uh, this, "I want to shoot some art arrows in this in the bales of hay over there." And you guys are still here. And we're like, "Yeah, you know." Like, you could probably live without... They got the permits and stuff. That's just, what they like to do. Yeah, you know what? And that's their place to do it. And then the other people like flea markets, so they got to suck it up every once in a while. You well, know? I think that we have the, the flea market actually only has the permit until 6. Yeah. So... Yeah, so now they're, now they're permit of, enforcement. A lot of those guys yeah. show up, you know, before right, 6. Right on 6. And like, what are you guys still doing here at 6 o'clock? The permit's you know only in 6. Anthony, they like to shoot their... It's just something that they like to do. Yeah, whatever. Just because you don't have nothing you like to do. I like to sell people TV. and buy stuff at flea markets. <laughs> yeah, I don't even watch TV 90% of the time. It's background noise. It's just on. But, um, so anyway, we decided to, instead of, like, torture ourselves, get up, like, I don't know, six o'clock in the morning. Well, walk through the Meadowlands, wind blowing on us. When I got up, I thought we were still going to the Meadowlands. Yeah. Then when I well, seven's it, fine. They were saying forty mile per hour wind yeah. gusts. Seven's like, like sleeping late. late for you, right? Well, yeah, since the I the crossing guard. Crossing guard during the weekend. And then during the, the weekend. Gets on the weekend. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It's like you almost never get to sleep till seven. But um, yeah. So we decided to maximize. Our dinero, our our our, uh, our wallet, our investment capital money, and just go to like 
I mean, estate sales, eh, you can get deals at estate sales, so depending on what you buy. But uh, also some non-estate sales, right? There's like one sale that's... Uh, well, there's one where I don't know how they're going to do it because they, they always set up outside. Yeah. And they have it... Um, um, it's just awful windy. Yeah, it is. Like... Outside. That's the one I'm going to first because they do set up outside even though they don't start until 10. Yeah. It's 9.42 and... I mean, they should have stuff out. Yeah, already. they should. I maybe I get some nonsense. Uh, I'm sure they've it's had not stuff one out. They so usually like. <clears throat> no, we don't really like. I just because like. Because they do it so often. I really just they, like. I forget what they're raising money for. Yeah, I just like yard sales lately and garage sales, because otherwise I'm buying off of other dealers, and I don't really like buying off of dealers because dealers want to make as much money as possible, and I also want to make as much money as possible. So it's just you know it's hard to make the two work out you know I mean if they're willing to like I was talking about this yesterday like if I buy something that will sell for 20 bucks on eBay I can't pay more than five for it mm. you know and then they're like well I can get more it's like yeah you know but not for me it doesn't I'm not barely I'm barely making any money as it is off the thing so you know and and it's hard to to put anybody in that situation where it's like yeah if you want to sell it to me you got to sell for like um, 20, 25 cents on the dollar when they then when they think or know they can get more. So rather than try and, and buy off of people like that, and, you know, um, I try and go where people don't care about how much they make, where they just want to get rid of it, you know. Um, but uh, not to say I haven't found stuff at, at uh, flea markets and garage sales. I mean, flea markets and estate sales. Well, it's totally possible. You just got to be willing to not make as much I money I, although online. yeah and stand online and all that nonsense i'm in and out guy you know i don't i'm not standing like if i'm standing around it, it's like then i'm losing money i'm wasting time it's like standing around is as if you I, need stuff really bad i, I don't need don't it i just don't like standing on a line and then when they open the doors it's like a mad rush yeah yeah i'd rather just casually stroll in it, it's 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 like i say it and i mean it there's so much stuff to buy that you can make off of you don't have to fight off of every over anything. It doesn't matter. You know, there's stuff all over. You just gotta know what will make you money. Or if you don't know, then look at something and go, "This is interesting," <clears throat> and just check it. You know, check it on your phone. Everybody else does, right? Just scan it. People get so mad when they see people checking on their phone. I think they'll get over that because a lot of times now they're not even sure anymore. Everybody just looks at their phone. You know, the funniest though was when I was at the estate sale. And I was like, how much is this? And then the guy took it, went to the other room. Uh, and I was like, yeah, he's going to check the price. So I just followed him. And, uh, and then uh, you were like, are you done? And I'm like, no, nah, I got to wait for the guy to finish checking the prices on this. <laughs> because it's like, he doesn't know, you know. And he thinks that they're so discreet. You yeah. Not. Nah, you're not. You're not. It's like everybody knows what you know, you're doing. be honest. I like a lot of times when oh, I tell. art sales, I tell people, look, I resell, yep. you know. And if you don't like that, some, hey, no problem. I'll go buy from somebody well, else. Well, because like at the flea market, some of the vendors get mad if they think you're going to resell their stuff. And get I'm like, hey, don't get mad at me. I just won't buy off of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I really don't care. It's like if, you, if you're willing to sell to me, uh, I'm not buying anything unless I can make money off of it. Either I need it and I need nothing. I mean, I barely need anything, you know. Um, either I need it. I want it, I and I want almost at nothing. The I, I'm at some guy's table, and I'm looking, and you know, I got there later, so it wasn't the first. One. Yeah. And he made some comment about how, yeah, uh, yeah, these dealers that want to resell your stuff. I said, I, ja I uh, screw them. I jack the price on them. I'm like, I'm hey, like, you know, really? probably everybody buying off you is a dealer. So you I'm know like, that. I left. Yeah, I would be like, oh, well, I'm I, buying a resale. I assume he so, you didn't know. realize I was a dealer. But I don't know how he could think you're anything else. You know what I mean? Well, it's because like, there are who do they think are coming to their sales? early in the morning. Yeah, I mean, come on. Let's be real, uh, people. Everybody that's buying something from you wants to make money off it, or they need it. And, I mean, that's like, say, 10% of your sales. They need it. And then everything else. I mean, why do you think, oh, they talk about people going to Goodwill to buy crap. And they're buying clothes. Why? Because they're going to wear it all? No. Most people they, that seem to go to Goodwill... Uh, I really don't know how they... I mean, every time I go to Goodwill, it's so expensive or the clothes are so They find their crap. niche and they wait for the sale days, you know, 50% off. Huh. They download coupons. They just, 
you know, or they just go to a bunch of different Goodwills and, and try and find a couple of things here or there. It's, it's not easy. Uh, it was easier doing what we did back in the day, but then it was also harder to sell. So it was like back in the day, you know, you could buy something and if nobody wanted it, you were stuck with it. You couldn't put it on eBay. I mean, or you had to throw it into auction to get rid of, you know, you bought something you thought was good and it was good, but you couldn't sell it. You just didn't have the customer base. No, you throw it into auction. there's jewelry that, that a few years ago, I was able to get more money for it. Like when we did Rutherford Street Fair and yeah. stuff like that, because Manhattan dealers were coming. Yeah. But I think everything... But, the worth of everything has come down. Or gone up. Well, no. The, the, the things that I'm talking about. Like, yeah. the jewel, like let's say a, a nice gold debt piece. Yeah. A big gold debt piece. At the Rutherford Street Fair, it was easy for me to get 50 bucks. Yeah. Because they can in turn put it in their shop for like 150 or whatever. Sure. But now I think what these things are worth has gone down. Or the want for them has like... I, I can believe the want, because but I also think part of it is because of the massive availability. I don't think that a lot of the newer generations even understand what uh, gold dead is. But you also is. have to they consider, you also have to consider you know, that... If they see a piece that they like, they buy it. Yeah. But you also but, have to consider that 10 years ago, <clears throat> if you wanted gold debt and you stumbled across it, then you pretty much had to pay the price. Now you could no, go on I eBay. Found, I found pieces... No, but you get my point, right? Mm -hmm. You can go and now do a, a search on gold debt for eBay. There's these people that put stuff on so cheap. Yeah, and because like, they're dumb. Don't they don't know better. What you're doing, it's not even worth your they're time. They're not dumb, to dumb. They the just don't know to, better. To pack this up, go to the post office, mail it. I mean, how can you some people are happy to make like, like a small amount? But how are you putting stuff on for ninety nine cents? Some people are like, wow, ten extra bucks. Shipping, what, how are you making any money? Like when we used to do the CDs. Yeah. On it, I was like, how are you making money selling a CD for 99 cents? They'd be like, oh, shipping? I make 99 cents on shipping. I'm, I'm like, okay. How is that making any money? How is it worth it, basically? Just going to the post office. I mean, office maybe if you live gas? like in a third world country, you know, I mean, where. Look at gas, 357. What the hell? That place crazy? They're going up and up and up and up. Well, I thought I saw for 357. No, but I thought I saw for. Oh, 357. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, in my head, I, I was hearing 257 because I saw for two. What was it? Gas. No, that but, was the least one. It was one on time. No, no, no. But which which gas station do you remember? Uh, Exxon. Exxon. Hmm. But this is Teaneck. Yeah. Usually the gas isn't that bad in Teaneck. No. Well, whatever. I mean, I don't know what Maybe they're thinking. Maybe that was wrong. Three fifty-seven. Just. I can yeah. see two fifty-seven. Yeah, two fifty-seven sounds right. From us. Yeah, but maybe they just trick people. Everybody's like, oh, I thought that was a two. That's a three. No. I mean, why not? How can you trick somebody into thinking a two, a three is a two? Because like, if you don't on. look at it, you just think like no. two fifty-seven, okay. like yeah, three fifty-seven. Yeah, only you, dear. Only you. Yeah, you you do it all the time. I bet. I just noticed that <laughs> it was three fifty-seven. You just got lucky that time. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so today our plan is to not sp overspend. Uh, to maximize our profits, to buy only the best stuff that we see yeah, right. for the least amount of money. And, I mean, I'm looking kind of for flea market stuff, you know? Just stuff that I like to sell at flea markets. And, um, you know, and if I see something good for eBay, fine, I'll pick it up. But I am not hurting for eBay stuff. I've been putting stuff on eBay all week. So have you. You know, you're getting to the point where you're just putting, like, everything on. You well, only used to put sign stuff, but other stuff sells. Stuff. Oops. Yeah, let them go. They're going to the hospital. Let him a go. lot of the uh, new stuff that I'm putting on, I pay more money for. I yeah. can't, you know, if I pay 10 bucks for a necklace, that if I take it to the flea market, you know. You might be able to get your 10 bucks back. I might back. be able to get my 10 bucks or back. Or you might take a small loss. <laughs> like, you might have to sell it for eight or five, I you know. Need, well, yeah, see, look, here the gas is 251. Yeah. 255. Here's an Exxon. Something was up with their sign. Somebody yeah. didn't tell days, the guy. Days greedy. Or he didn't know what a three was. <laughs> this this I mean, two three, they look the same. I don't. There's uh, no difference. I don't know why it's the accent. accent. I don't know what. I don't even know what that accent was. Two well, three look the same. I Daisy would say that you're racist. So yeah. Stop it. Accents aren't racist. People have accents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're going to the one sale to start off. We got maybe five sales to go today. Hopefully, we get lucky. Uh, I'm going to turn this off and we'll just see what happens. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there.
Alright, I think we're too. This isn't worth anything. But if I see games, I'll look for more. TV days. Oh, PlayStation 3. And if it works, it's it's like you're rolling the dice. You know, like they say in, in those, um, like yeah, like the locker things, you know. It's like, well, I'm rolling the dice. I got a good feeling about this one or whatever. So that's basically what's happening. He's just kind of rolling the dice and seeing if there's anything that maybe, I don't know, what are they? What are they? They're like zebras? I don't know. They're like little horses. Yeah, she'd probably like those. I mean, those look like fun. Here, this one's... These are, Some of these are empty, just so you know. Oh, so give me the empty. Yeah, I think this one, too. Yeah, empty, Thank empty. Thank you so much. Oh, that's okay. I don't, you know, because I, I don't like this. Well, it's not that, you know... I understand that it's hard to check every single thing. What's this? Cheers. Bottoms up. That's a pretty big bottle opener. <laughs> A little bit too big, maybe. All right. Oh. And, and how much is the mug? One dollar. Oh, okay, great. I'll get this too. This is a decent find. All right, let me turn this off. A little preview that Marie wanted to show me. This is a little this, mini rosary. We just bought that. It's a bracelet. It has a little tiny mini rosary oh, inside. Very there's I have to fix to it, it though. Yeah, a little bit of glue. Oh, my hands are freezing. Yeah, it was cold there. There's another rosary. rosary. I thought it might be silver, but I don't think so. That's fine. You there can actually make a lot. <clears throat> another. I like the. It's so bright and shiny. You can actually make a lot of this stuff. This is old. This piece. Yeah, this I must can tell be it's Victorian. old. This it might be Native American. You know what I'm saying? It's got a mark and it says sterling and it's got a yeah, piece of coral. Yeah, it looks coral. Native American. Uh, this is you Italian. Have, oh, so you got a, Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Uh, these are just fun earrings. For Daisy. Yeah, okay. Put that. This is another Murano. I'm surprised you're showing everything now. But it's but... got a silver... Yeah, it's glass. So we're actually doing Marie's first pickup. I um, might do it again later, though. This is actually onyx and gold. Nice. So all the beads are gold. Yeah, not a lot of money there, but... This was nothing much, but the beads the are soft. Right. I think these beads are gold. Ooh. Nice. And what about the long beads? The, I think they're gold. Nice. And I think these are gold. Okay, well, you have that check. Yeah, but for two bucks, I'll take it. Can't chance. go wrong. And this I just like because it's it's. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What's fish. what is that? Yeah, it's definitely cool. It's bone. And is what do you think? It's Indian or and it's Chinese? Got agate. There's agate stone yeah. and carved. Yeah, that's bone. definitely nice. I'm it's trying to. Cool. I have it. I just want to show what the fish heads look like. It's like Pisces. I couldn't get the right angle. Okay. And this is sterling silver, and it's that? got like a pearl inside, a weird what is it? freshwater pearl inside. Oh, it's just a chain with a weird design. Yeah. Interesting, okay. And All right. Mug. Oh, yeah, but that's just a either preview oh, or whatever. Right. Where's Maybe that list? Pick up. It's right there. Okay, let me turn this off. DVDs demolished. Thank you. 
Because I didn't sell it. I'm not kidding, that's what I have to do. The grandfather clock over there, that, that nice piece. Oh, that? it's a beautiful piece. Yes, it is. I'm going to take this? it if nobody gets it for her. Oh, that's right. I bought that for mom. For more than double that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get it. 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 I'm like, you know what? The, yeah. the bonging yeah, every hour fun. drives me nuts. It's beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. 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 Beautiful.
This is my last chance, and I'm not going to find it. Okay, I'll just, if they give us the name. To write it down. No, I'll just, I'll just talk it into this thing. Iris. Iris? Yes. What Iris. was the last name? Iris Attell. Iris Attell. Probably A T T. A uh, oh, Iris Appel, maybe? Yeah. Appel. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll figure it out. The that's that's the, pretty good. Cool. funky jewelry that my mom loves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so, one of the things in here that you found is selling. It's a for Heidi Douse pin. Heidi Douse. One went for 60 bucks, but then of course it goes down from there. Sure. It doesn't but I matter. should be able to put it on for 40 or 50 dollars. 40, 50, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, you want to show me? I'll just do your jewelry and then I'll do my stuff um, and edit it all together later. You know? Um, I'll just edit. It'll take longer, but this way you don't have to stand outside and do it later. Oh, okay, uh, you know what? I'll get started I'm going through this because you're still checking something. And the other one was like Iris Arpel. Iris Apfel. How do you spell it? Iris A P. I R I S A P F E L. A P F E L. All right, so we paid fifty bucks, and it would have come to seventy-five, but the guy said uh, fifty was okay, and we didn't offer. So this is probably the most valuable thing you got, right? Yeah, that's good. Because it is cool. Here, you wanna? Now it doesn't look like uh, it's silver, right? What's this say? Uh, certificate of Authenticity. That's nice to have. You normally don't get that. Uh, here. So this is a fetish necklace. This, uh, I don't know, maybe this is silver? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, silver, because at first it looked too shiny. Oh, people have those classic necklaces on only for $45. Yeah, oh, see, and they went like 15 oh. But 10 is fine. So... I didn't show those yet. So I'm trying to get this to lay right, but it won't. But these have very large, look. This this is like a an, like an inch long uh, fetishes on these. Normally you don't see them as large, you see tiny ones. So this is probably the most valuable piece that you bought, right? It's like the yeah. frog, um, fish. And this was priced 20. Uh, is that like a rhino? Focus on that. So my nails are clean. Uh, polar bear, bison, more fish, rabbit, rabbit season, uh, duck season. Um, yeah, here's like a pos. There's ones that you normally don't see on here, like this one. This is what? Like that's not a beaver, maybe. Yeah, that looks like a beaver. That's a beaver. All right, and there's another polar bear, and there's more fish. So this is probably the best. What is this? Oh, this must be a face? Eh, yeah, whatever. So this is probably the best thing that you bought. Price of 20. All right, now this is the who? Who makes this? Uh, Heidi Douse. Heidi Douse, you believe this is probably worth like 40 bucks? 40 to 50. 40 to 50. And uh, it was part of the $75 deal. Uh, this must be the box for that uh, fetish? That goes around the fetish. Okay. That's the Iris Apfel stuff. Okay, so, and this is just pretty cool. These are priced at 15 a piece, as you can see. But it's a long, graduated... Is it graduated? ...size. Is it? Oh, yeah, you're right, no, it, it is. Not a bit... Yeah, larger. I do. And so this is funky. It's yellow, and then I got a green one. And you think you'll sell these for 45 a piece? Maybe. And what's your name again? Uh, Iris Apfel. Iris Apfel. See, I think you got... Yeah, you got five pieces. Oh, so many. Similar for $90. Nice. Maybe the color matters. Oh, and then this one is a nice Weiss one. Yeah, it's, it's only like 10 bucks. Probably just nobody looked at it. No, no. On the back. No, no, I mean, probably nobody looked at it. And there it is. See Let me Weiss. just focus. Focus. There it is, Weiss. And it's a nice blue Aurora Borealis. Oh, it's really nice. And that was marked $10. So everything came to $75. And yeah, here's some you got 70 for one, but that's a glitter one. I don't know. I don't see any of my color. Run it at an auction for like 
45 55 50. 55 and if it doesn't sell make it like 65 or something like that yeah all right. I, I'm going to see the bracelets because they had a Not bad. Bracelets. So that's Marie's. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess while you're out here, you can go back inside, but now you're not you're not going to get the bundle deal. Um, no, but they had two bracelets. This is really nice. So could, can you get more than 100 for this? Um. Well, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to start at 75 oh, for no, auction. Start it off at like 90, something like that. I mean, I don't know. Do a little research on that because, I don't know. It's a really nice one. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's old or new sometimes, especially if it's a designer name. And, and just even the old ones, the old ones would never have such large stones as that, you know? So I think that, that makes it nicer, you know? Oh, what is that? Look at that. That's, um, what is that? An armadillo. An armadillo. Yeah, that, I mean, I never see armadillo fetish charms, but okay. All right, so that's more of Marie's jewelry. I'll show my stuff. I'm going to edit everything together later. Uh, this one, I think, I was like, is that a no. face? Wait a minute. That's funny. I was touching, I was touching this, the item instead of the back, instead of the back of the camera. <laughs> I think it's a skunk, but I'm not sure. But then show the wolf. I didn't show the wolf. Hungry like a wolf. It's over there. Uh, bring it within my reach. Yeah, that's a wolf. I've never seen, like, even the frog. Isn't that nice? And what's the, oh, that's the bison. I already showed that fish. Bear, yeah. No, you never see as many as these. These armadillo. Really nice. Yeah, I already pointed out the armadillo. Yeah. The and what's rabbit. this? Bird. It's a dolphin. Oh, that. That's a bird. A bird. Okay. We got good coffee. She's very happy. Um, no, I was gonna say that I'm glad we didn't go to the Meadowlands. You know, because I already know if we had gone to the Meadowlands, we wouldn't have found the things that you basically found today. The stuff I found is no big deal. Um, I got nonsense, and that's what I would have found at the Meadowlands. I would have found nonsense, but they would have wanted me to pay more for it. Like I bought some BS, uh, PS3 uh, games, and some uh, PS1 games and stuff. Nothing special, I don't believe. Maybe eight to ten dollars at most for a, a few of them. I'm not even sure on that. Um, but I only paid a dollar to a dollar fifty for. But like, there's no way that that jewelry would have been out on someone's table at the Meadowlands for the prices that that you paid for them and they would have still, still been there. Right, especially like the fetish would have been gone. No, actually it might have still been there because remember I got a fetish from Roger for $25. Yeah, but that, that was in a box. Not pro uh, The one that you bought today was in a box prominently displayed. Well, the one I got today is like brand new. Yes. The one you got he had in his kind of tray all bundled up, right? Yeah, but it was right there. Yeah. Do, do we sell that yet or no? I think a lot of the people go to Meadowlands that shop for jewelry are looking for gold, yeah. silver, and sign pieces. Yeah. But I'm still saying that it's like if I have a choice, I will never go to the Meadowlands. I'll go somewhere else. You know, if I have any choice. And the past month or so, there's been pretty much no choice. So now that finally there's some sales, and we've only gone to two sales. Two. Um, but the stuff that we got is, is way better. And I'm not trying to slam the Meadowlands. I just. I don't like shopping there. I don't. I don't have luck. No, you know. Um, oh, whatever. I'm glad, you know, that we didn't go that way. And the stuff that you got, we're gonna make way, way more than uh, anything I, I would have got at the middle ends. I'm, I'm pretty positive of that. Well, I have to buy odd stuff because yeah, I can't find. Yeah, you can't go silver gold because everybody's silver gold. You know, I can't just go video games because everybody's video games. Uh, we have to just this like whatever's odd or different or nice. They actually had like uh, an old McCoy uh, cookie jar. Did you see it? Uh, one of the uh, Aunt Jemima type ones. Um, what are you, the GPS telling you to do stupid shit? Oh no! Shit. Okay, it just scared me because it told me to. Wow! Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's an old mill. Nice. Um. So anyway, they had an old McCoy, uh, like um, the Mammy type cookie jar but it had damage they still wanted like 10 yeah, bucks there was a it. Roseville vase with that had damage. a lot of damage I showed it you'll see it in the yeah, video yeah see red mill that's the red mill oh yeah I can't let me see if I can zoom on that see how close I can that's it oh, alright zoom out uh, it didn't it didn't do a voice command I just said voice, I said zoom out and then I made it zoom out with my fingers in case anybody Whatever. was wondering it's like wow he's got a really good phone <laughs> it's like zoom in zoom in more Zoom in all the way, okay. Zoom out. Just it's me doing it with my fingers. I think I did. I just was like, I'm happy we didn't go to the Meadowlands today. 
cold, windy, uh, happy, not there. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? You want to bring him back there? I don't know if you're going to get in there, but you can bring him back there, I guess. Actually, you know, so we're going to do a second yeah. sale. We'll it's be crazy. advertised. But, all right, you could walk in the backyard if you want. If anyone wants stuff in the backyard, we could walk you back there. There is stuff. Is it just this room? This room and upstairs, the kitchen and the dining room. Thank you. Oh, oh, she looked it up and she it's like steam and iron all in one. Oops. Go ahead. Of what? The juice band? No, I think that was the one that I had. It was too crowded in there. Yeah. This looks like a lot of miscellaneous. Oops. Hmm. All right, what's this? All right. This might have been good earlier. This table's really nice. Vincent oh, oh, oh. Robert. I'll ask on this. You never know. It's kind of nice when it's five bucks. Oh, sorry. That's okay, that's your stuff, right? I'm just kind of look past. I'm just going to sneak by you. Oops, sorry. You know mine. So it's art then just this stuff right here? Yeah. It's an Next, that's over. Picked it up. Let's see. You're taking the shoe boxes? What's this? You see it? I have to switch glasses to look at it. Unfortunately, uh, is anything nice, sir? Just last night, and we were supposed to have three ladies no. today, and they all didn't come. So that's why it's not Let's see, look at this stuff up here. That's a, those must be ornaments. Table stuff. What is this? Matt, the Uggs boots. Empty. Empty. Magazines. Oh, I got a right. I got an owl here. Oh, okay, that's something else. So I'm an owl that lit up. And I have a wood owl. Uh, are these? Clothes? Sneakers. Ah, uh, Spalding. <laughs> uh, I've already decided I'm not paying one five for this. Make sure it's got no damage. All right, just a gun. Look at this. Nice, but I have no interest. Close. 
All right, I think I'm gonna turn this off because it, I don't believe it looks like anything. Where'd you see I Love Guitar? On this guy? Right there. I still, oh yeah, there it is, I Love Guitar. I Love Lamp. That's from that movie. Um, yeah, we're cutting the day short because the two of the sales are pretty far, right? Like 20 minutes. Yeah, but you said that one of them's like One's a, a run sale and like hassle-free. We normally like don't get really anything. Really pricey for us. Yeah. And, and then um, um, the other one was a store, left a thrift store. Pie. Right. Well, you that said they had a lot of jewelry. A sale. They had a table with jewelry, but uh, who cares, right? I got enough jewelry. Today. So we're cutting the day short, but we're going to one more sale. This one's uh. In the town next door. Yeah, Cliffside Park. They said it's like a... It's a community garage sale. But it's at, at a school? school? Okay. So Cliffside Park High School. I don't know. We're going late. It started at 10. They've probably had like a billion people go through. Maybe there'll be stuff left over, but we'll see. You know, th but this will be it. This is our last, last bit of shopping for today. Wow. Community flea market. There you go. Hi. Hi. Oh, there it is. <laughs> kind of smallish here. <laughs> I figured it out. We made it. Uh, she might have seen an ad. Facebook is good, but I think people still use more Craigslist. And sometimes within the schools, don't promote it. Like, yeah. At least coming to yeah, well, check I, I it out. Publicize it with my students uh, yeah. Is this the first one? Uh, yeah, I like to practice a lot myself. Learning experience. You know, when I go to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we live in Portland. She's probably the only Daisy. No, actually, I didn't have another Daisy. Was there? Mm -hmm. What do you know? What do I know? Mm -hmm. Nothing is right. Mm -hmm. Wow. I knew what you cut with this. Yeah. So that was the last one, and we are so lucky we didn't go to that one first. That would have been a, a total waste. Oh. But uh, we're, let's just go through what they did wrong. Now, I showed what they had there. And why their sale is is they're gonna make like it maybe looks twenty to me bucks. Like or they 50 had bucks. leftover costumes and stuff from the theater department. Right. Fabrics that they must have used to make costumes. Yeah, that's what it know. looked like. And then they stuff had from household the ladies. stuff yeah. from that one teacher's house because she's moving. Yeah. And she said And it's she, like Yeah. Go ahead. It's, it's just junk. Just Nobody's gonna want it. Crap just like thin. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, maybe somebody I mean, we bought the knife to be nice and spend some money. Well, but you know, it could be a good knife. What did you say it is? Sabatier. Sabatier. It's a nice big one. Look how big that is. I better sheath it though. Yeah. <laughs> Put it down at the very least. Stab yourself in the leg. I know. I like well you could drive me to the hospital. Look, there's an emerging no, med. I'm not driving anywhere. I'm gonna Just, out the it's car. like I'm gonna park the car, run into the emerging med. <laughs> I stab myself. Why we're Should I bring the knife as evidence? Yeah, my fingerprints would be on it. They wouldn't think that you did it. Nope. I didn't put my hands on it. Here, hold this. I'm not done. Nope. Uh, well, it would be convenient. We were going no, by. No, but I'm just saying that we should like. We could have went there first, and yeah, you know, Marie was right. So here, we'll consult. We'll help people out. What if they should have done. Yeah. Is like a month before, put a call out to all the parents that they yes. wanted to do a garage sale to raise money for the school. And if people, if the easiest thing for people to do nice without job. having to actually help at right. the school is just donate some stuff. Yeah, get stuff out of your closet. Donate Who cares if you donate? Just they, donate anything. That they don't use anymore. Donate, you know, things. And then you have a month to sort through that the stuff I people think are did donating. did that for Teaneck High School. Yes, he did. 
everybody donated. His yard was full. Because yep. people just want And he to had the sale at his house. Yeah. yeah. People do want to get rid of stuff. So and they want to like, also feel like they're helping. First, so this way at least you have more merchandise. Yeah. I mean, you, we could have offered, I guess, but no. I don't know. Then... They didn't put signs up so people could find no, it. No, the sign was... I was joking with the, the ladies that were coming out. I was like, where's the sale? I don't... And they said, well, the sign is on the door. I'm like, oh. You can't see the door from the street. <laughs> you can't see the door from the street. You don't know where to go. You know, I just I just said, I'll just get out the car and ask people, hey, where's the sale? You know what I mean? I'll just randomly ask wherever I see. And uh, lucky enough, the people that I asked had just come from the sale. So it was like, you know... Uh, I think we can get by. It's a little girl. Okay, so so we'll wait. Um, I just don't want to uh, film random people while I'm talking. Okay, and now they're getting in the getting car. Getting in the car, so little sorry. girl. Yeah. yeah, so they're getting in the car. All right, very good. All right, so anyway. Um, so then the second thing they should have done is, like you said, advertise, advertise, advertise. Well, they put on Craigslist, should put on Facebook. Well, that's not the third thing, maybe. Yeah, but right. also, you have to put a blast out to these parents, because sadly... Get the parents involved, for God's sake. One of these sake. parents... Like, she said, what did she literally tell us? Oh, every, a few people came. Every time we go to a, a school flea market, they suck. Yeah. And it's because the parents do not come out. Yeah, get the parents and, excited. And uh, support the school. Yeah. It's like your kids They're going gonna, to You know what's going to happen? They're going to be like, yeah, this was a bust. Let's never do it again. Yeah. You know? And, and that's it. They're going to be like, at the end of the day, if they make a hundred bucks. They'll be lucky. They'll be lucky, I think. I mean, to be honest, I don't know what they had in the morning. You know, they said they sold a George Foreman grill. What'd she do? Get 10 bucks? Uh, maybe 10 bucks. I can't imagine it selling, unless it's like one of the best ones ever and it was not open and stuff. But it's a George Foreman grill. Everybody has a George Foreman grill. Everybody has a George Foreman grill. I, I literally believe. Has either wow. had or had. How many have you had? Uh, Three? I've had, no. Four? I've had, I'm on my second one. Oh, just a second? Okay. So you count. I don't use them enough. No, but the, enough. what I'm saying is, like, Pretty much everybody's had one, and and then some people have had two or three, and those can average out for the people who haven't had them. <laughs> it's like every, it's just everybody either has had or is going to get or one day whatever a George Foreman grill. It's like one of the most common things in the world, you know. And they don't last forever, folks, right? Because uh, we, the one that we had, what happened to it? Well, the first one, I messed up the timer because I immersed it in water Ooh, because I couldn't wow. get it clean. Yeah. And I got water into the timing yeah. mechanism, so I okay. messed it up. Right. So the second one I got might not, not actually be a George Foreman. It might be a different brand. But the plates come loose. Yeah. So they separate from the actual... Yeah. Oh, should we go to the bank after this? Um, we're, getting, we're getting some food at Burger King. Yeah, right? Because I think we have... Maybe we have 100. If you think that's enough to... Because I don't know if there'll be much there. But I, All right, anyway. Goodbye.